Well, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. And what a day, what a day it is today. This weather is absolutely amazing. And uh, couldn't resist another little blast out on the machine. Uh, this video, a little bit of a mixed bag, really, this one. But we'll discuss a little bit more when we jump on. But what a day. We've, I've been waiting for this for so long, this weather. Uh, bike's looking good. Pretty much run in now, to be fair. So we're, we're sort of touching on the 1,000 miles. So we can give it a bit more gas here and there. And yeah, tyres are nicely scrubbed in. So we'll jump on and we will discuss today's topics. All right. The bike is running obviously quite hot today because uh, of the weather. So I did just have a little ride into the town just to sort of blow the dust off a little bit and um, yeah the fans obviously cutting in and out quite a bit so right here we go try and get out of here without any dramas <laughs> but yeah what a day today I've literally been waiting for this weather to change because we've had some really really bad weather and I, I, you know, we're now into, what are we? We're into uh, middle of June. I'm actually the tail end of June now, so I'm recording this on on the weekend. But yeah, uh, today's topic, I'm going to talk about, you know, what is it actually like to ride a superbike like this on today's roads? You know, this is basically a track bike, isn't it, on the road. So we're going to discuss a few things. So firstly, I just, I still can't get my head around. The sheer power of this machine is just absolutely unreal. If you've seen any of my other videos, I mean, at the moment I'm, like I say, I'm been sort of tickling it about and that, but obviously now it's running pretty much then. Got a bit, bit more of a free range, but what is it like to ride this machine? Well, firstly, yeah, of course it can be done. You've got a lot of rider aids on this bike. You've got, I'm on street at the moment. So the, basically it's toned down quite a lot. That's the luxury of this bike, the, all the settings are very customizable, especially the, well, the user one mainly, you can go in, but it's a, uh, suspension settings, you can go in and change them as you wish. It's on a soft setting at the moment, on a automatic, or as we say, like an adaptive, adaptive suspension. So uh, yeah, that, I mean, to be honest, I, I don't really notice too much of a difference on the road. I just I leave it on soft. Obviously, on the track, you'd 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 stiff it up a little bit and you'd go into a bit more depth with that. But that I mean, this bike does also have a track, a completely different menu here. You can go in and afternoon, sir. You can slick it in a track mode, which obviously I'm not going to do on the road. But yeah. Even in street mode, obviously she's 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 probably <laughs> it just makes it a bit more ride rideable, S sort of not so twitchy through like little towns like this, for instance. You can uh, coast your way through, not a problem. Let a bit of air in here, and yeah, she's quite happy. Obviously, this bike isn't made for commuting, really. To be fair, although you could do it on it. I don't know if I'd want to though. But the first thing I did notice when I sort of first jumped on this machine was the vast amount of uh, electronic settings you can go in and adjust and dial into your ligands. I have had a play with it and I have customised the user one. So the user one is full power. So you've got three power modes on this one, which is now on number one on on user now obviously your wheelie my wheelie controls dialed down on that as well so you've got a little bit of wheelie protection there it's got your got your ass a little bit 
I'd hate to end up on my ass. <laughs> that would be horrendous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's on level one. So I, it, I mean, it does weight. Obviously, it comes up on the on the gas. <laughs> and uh, nice and subtle, really. It's not too bad, but it, don't, it won't just chuck the front end down and slam it into the into the road, which is good. And was, uh, lots of bikes out today enjoying this this weather. But yeah, I mean, I've got I've got another setup actually, camera setup. I've had it for a little while. I've just been playing about with it. So I've got the I pretty much ditched Go GoPro. To be fair, they've just been so unreliable. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this topic topic of chat today is is a bit like I say, it's a bit a bit of a mixed bag. So you know, if it's not your cup of tea, then yeah. But yeah, so I've, I've ditched the Go the GoPro. I've now got the DJI Osmo Action Four, which to be fair, a lot, a lot of, a lot of people are doing it now. Really, to be fair, you've got an excellent, you know, you've got the excellent reliability there. DJI are well known. I've got quite a few DJI products, including like the drone, and I've got the DJI Mini 4 Pro drone, which is very good. Uh, I've also got the mic too, so it's wireless, Bluetoothed over to the the camera you know you can dial down the gain settings hopefully let me know in the comments what do you think of the video quality what do you think of the audio quality because like i say i've not got a what you call a lavalier mic plugged in into the helm i've got no 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 other mic other than the oh, like that lewis uh, yeah that's so just blue teeth across so it, it's, it's been quite reliable to be found as also what i like about it is Sorry if I'm waffling a little bit about this, but it, it's got a, what they call a float backup recording on the microphone. So the microphone's actually recording internally as well, but you know, that aside of your normal synced audio to the video footage, which is good. You just turn the camera on, it's, it links. It's just very easy. It makes your life so much easier. Um, you know, because you can get cheesed off with, un, you know, things being unreliable. And I have had it where I've been out, and I'm not going to moan, but I've lost footage and it does jar you off. You put a lot of time and effort in, and just to get home and find that you have no audio or no video. And sometimes if you've got no audio, you can just go in and over, you know, overlay some audio, although I don't like doing that. But this, actually I've not even got the noise reduction on, so it might be a little bit windy, but what I have noticed with the noise reduction on, you don't hear oh, you don't hear the bike much so I like to have that turned off I'm turn that indicator off what's I going to do here uh, yeah so I'm just going to talk more a, bit, a little bit more about the bike so I've drifted off a little bit I did say it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag but you can go in I've, like this is in street mode at the moment so it's toned quite down it's got a uh, the traction control on six. I can adjust that on the pad paddles here. It's got like a plus and a minus, so I can go up and down. And obviously, in dry weather, as long as you're above five, I think you'd be absolutely fine, really, to be fair. You could even go down a bit lower than that. But the, the luxury of this bike also has the ability to, which I don't all do it, you can turn the, the actual anti wheelie off and you can go and have, uh, obviously, leave the traction control on, which which really is, yeah, it's a good system. It's a very good system. Uh, you can go in there and, yeah, you, can, you, you, you can't really adjust any of those other settings until you go into the user one. However, touch of a button here, I can now stick it in the sport, which, again, will have a different ride and feel to it, more power. And, she sounds wonderful. Let me know what you think. Have you own one of these bikes? Have you had any issues with one? I mean, I've had this now about three or four months, getting on four months now. And I did have a little bit of an issue early days uh, with... Uh, with, uh, I kept hitting neutral, especially even, you know, I don't know if it's a false neutral, 
definitely between first and second. You're going down the box <coughs> as well. I was getting hit in neutral, and I did find that very annoying. To the point of yeah, I thought maybe there's something not quite right there, but it does seem to have sorted out. I've been out for about an hour today so far, and I've not had that once. It's probably going to do it. We're probably going to do it now, but. Overall, very, very pleased. I have had the first service done already. So it's got new oil, new filter. And they re torque all the, your, your, you know, your, your, nut, your, nut, your bolts, nuts and bolts. So, take the left here. Uh, but yeah, all good, all good really. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of the video quality. I'll be I'll be interested to know because generally I, I don't tend to do any actual image or video image post editing. So what you see here is literally straight out the camera. However, what what YouTube tend to do, they do tend to. I do tend to, you know, you lose a bit of your video quality when you upload videos, basically, which is a bit annoying. I mean, I, I, I do record in 4K, but I have tried, uh, this video is in 4K, 50 frames per second, more than an hour of the figures, but so if you, if you are interested to know the little setup I have. Uh, another thing, good thing about the Osmo Action 4, it's got the magnetic mount as well. It does clip into place as well, but on the helmet, you've got like your, your, your chin mount, what clips in to your kind of standard Go GoPro mount. And, and the, the DJI Osmo 4, Action 4 and the 3, I think had the, well this has got the, like a magnetic mount, so you don't have to, have to undo that thumb screw like the GoPros. So annoying. You just want to keep things as simple as possible. do anyway but yeah I would I would definitely be interested to know your thoughts so leave a comment below oh and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing hit that notification bell it would be absolutely great to have you along there are lots of videos on the cards I haven't done one for a while actually I've been well I've just come back from holiday so a nice week in yeah, Cy Cyprus which was lovely long overdue holiday but yeah, I, there's been obviously I've got work commitments, so obviously that all comes first. And uh, yeah. But yeah, on the on the display here with this button again, you you don't need to pull a clutch in or anything. Just lay off the gas. Hit the the button again. I'm now in the user one, so I've customised this one. So I've now got my well, anti wheelies on one least intrusive so it will allow the bike uh, the machine yeah, it just, just gives you a little bit more fun and power because they've got the engine the engine map on one the engine map yeah a pretty engine map on one there very warm today I don't know what the outside temperature is so I don't think it tells you on the screen there but it's very, very warm. Full levers on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a, a new bike review in soon at some point. Plus I've just been so busy with other things and work and that. I just haven't really had a, had a chance to jump on. There's a lots of new machines out there as well. But yeah. As far as the mach this machine's going, I'm, I'm, you know, more than happy. But I, like I said, I, I really just can't believe that the, the performance. This is basically a race bike on the road. This it really is. It really is. I think we'll go straight on here. 
I'm not really going in anywhere in particular today, I'm just literally, it's just a complete jolly, really. I mean, I rode around for a little while with the camera on, obviously not recording, and I just thought, oh, because I always do that, I don't always I make a, come out and make a video, but I'll have my setup on the helmet, so if I do feel like making a video, then I'll make one, but I don't always fancy doing it, to be fair. Sometimes you just, you just don't. But what a day, what a day. And there is lots of machines out today, which I like. There are, it's actually a, a, a little, uh, well, I say little, there's a wheels festival on in Yarmouth. You know, I live near Great Yarmouth, actually. A nice little village. Uh, sort of 10 mile away from Yarmouth. And there's a there's a wheels what they call it the wheels festival on today and tomorrow, so I might I might take a look up there, have a wander wander along as motorcycles obviously cars and perfect weather for it as well. One thing I do I really do love about the machine is the sound of the this has got a standard exhaust on here as well. The sound of it though is really really it does encourage you though that's the only thing to to wind the gas on and <laughs> it probably could get you in a lot of trouble this bike if you're not careful I've, you know I'm still wondering whether it's actually possible to come out and ride this bike sensibly <laughs> you know it's, it's just really <laughs> I don't know if you've ever if, if, let me know if you've rode on these or if you own what, what your comments are on, on that you know sir <laughs> but the the pickup and the and the performance of this machine throughout the rev range is just mind blowing. It really is mind blowing. It's, I would say it's, the, it's. I've never rode anything quite like this before. I, I've, I have rode a lot of machines. I mean, my GSXR thousand R was. Yeah, that obviously that was fast. But I think with the V with the V4 this one is oh the torque is uh, i think this is i think it's 125 newton meters to torque this one whereas the gsxr thousand r was about 117 which is still a lot of power a lot of torque sorry but this 217 bhp uh, the numbers yeah unreal really to be fair probably too much for the like i say too much for the road here that's the trouble out here in Norfolk you, you know there is a lot of farming going on and you don't, the last thing you want is a tractor pulling out on you but the hell excuse my language but yeah well anyway I really do appreciate you joining me today on this lovely ride out and the weather's absolutely wonderful and uh, Hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care, see you soon.